Hello, this is another video with Kai. Uh, I will be doing an assignment uh, from the class CS106A, assignment 2, part 4. And in part 4, uh, the purpose of the program, uh, we're going to now implement a um, graphics package to create this uh, target logo. The one, the same one that's used in a famous name brand chain. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to discover what we need in order to make this uh, target work. And so to produce this target, um, first of all, we need to have it centered and in the right dimensions. And it looks like for the outer circle, they gave us uh, 72 pixels or an inch. And then this one's 0.65 inches for the inner white one and then the inner red one is a uh, 0.3 inches and so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing that we need uh, when we build this is that we need to import the graphics package and as you can see it's already been done for us so the graphics package is right there the uh, program package is there as well and um, this isn't really necessary java.awt usually use that for like action listeners or events and uh, things that might happen um, might not be necessary in this uh, this uh, file but anyways um, to get started um, basically all I have to do is extend the graphics program because now we have a graphic instead of a text so now the extension shows graphics program and I will build a method that says uh, build target okay and I need to create a stub for it so let's say private void because it's not going to return anything build target and that's it and here we need to initialize our variables for the radius of those uh, circles now the circle there is no circle uh, operator rather there's is something called a G oval so you can make an oval but of course if you make the radius the same on both sides it would appear to be a circle um, and that's the one that we're going to implement and use in our program so uh, let's go ahead and put private and let's put uh, let's see to calculate this um, the first one is 72 inches that can be an int but the rest of them is some fraction of everything so it's going to be a double so I'm just going to make it a double and let's call this the outer um, outer radius and so it's 72 pixels okay and then we'll also create private and double the middle radius and that would be 0.65 inches so it's going to be 0.65 times by our outer radius like that and then we'll have another one that's going to be our inner radius that's going to be equal to 0.3 times our outer radius so everything is based off our outer radius um, the other thing that we need to have is what, what we need is, is uh, the measurement for the get height, the height of the box, and the width of the box so that we can center our target right here. So um, basically to get that we have to initialize some variables. So let's call it private, uh, uh, let's see, well we need to center it so we'll call it private double center x. Okay and private double center y like that and in order to calculate the height and the width of the box we need to call a method called get width it's a method and another one called get height and because it's the center we need to divide each of these by two now the one thing I noticed about the uh, Eclipse that you need to watch out for is that if you initialize the variable get height and get width outside of the run method, uh, what, what will happen is, is that uh, 
center x and center y will return a zero because the dimensions of the box hasn't been created yet. It doesn't get created until you actually run the program. So um, by putting it where I just placed it, it actually would not work. So the best thing to do is to call it and then set it inside the run like so. Okay, so that you'll save you a lot of um, headache and tears. Took me a while to figure that one out, so hopefully uh, you don't get through that same hardship uh, by viewing this video. Okay, so we have our center, which is center X and center Y, and we want to use those dimensions to build our target. Okay, and so um, basically by uh, figuring out where the center is, uh, we want to now establish our uh, our oval. In this case, the G oval, which will we will use to form our um, circle. So, to call the G oval, what we'll do is create something called G oval, capital G, capital O, V A L, and we'll call it the circle. Okay, and then equals new G oval. This is how you construct it and make it for the first time. Now, usually you have to uh, put a couple inputs. Basically, the first input is the um, starting x direction of where you make the circle and the starting y direction. Now, you got to be careful here. When you make the circle, it won't start it from the center where I placed it. Rather, it always forms the circle from the corner. So in the top left corner here, that's where it's going to form that circle. So this is the origin, and then the circle gets created inside that. So obviously, you know, since we have it centered here, we have to make sure that we subtract it by the radius in order to get that corner, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our center that we've obtained here. So my center x. And we're going to subtract it by the radius. Okay. And that would give you the the starting position for the x. And then we're going to do the same thing for the y. So the center of y. And we're going to subtract. And you'll notice that when it comes to calculating the um, the position, it zero zero, think of it as like a Cartesian coordinate system. Basically, you have your cross, let's imagine there's a cross right here, and that would be your origin zero zero. And basically what happens is when you count in this direction, that's positive integers or positive numbers going this way. And instead of having negative numbers uh, going down, this is going to be positive going this way for the y direction. So you have positive going in the x, positive going in the y, and basically down here would be that max height and over here it would be the max width if you can picture that but anyways so we have our starting position for our x starting position for our y then we need our starting uh, our radius or our, I'm sorry not the radius but the diameter and that would be the diameter for the x and the diameter for the y so the diameter is just twice the radius so we just take our radius and what we're going to do is multiply that by 2, like so. And then we're just going to copy, oh, sorry, I just copied the wrong one. Um, here we go, out of radius. And then we're going we're gonna to copy that and put that for the diameter of the y direction. So it's going to form a perfect uh, circle, just like that. So this is how you construct the circle, OK? And then the next thing is to teach you how to set the fill of the um, circle. So if I hit circle, okay, which is our new G oval, uh, our new oval, we hit circle and then hit dot. And when that happens, a list should pop up. And if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You can still type it out. But we want to set the fill boolean to be true. So true implies that we're going to put a color inside it. And so that's like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit circle again, dot, and set the color to red. So set color. And then to denote the color, 
you first type in uh, color with a capital C dot and then all in caps RED because the first one is going to be red just like that okay and then once you're done with that uh, to go ahead and build that circle and put it in the box you need to now add the actual geoval to the canvas so we have add circle and there you have it okay there's our red circle that we've just generated now the one thing you have to also remember is that how you add objects to the uh, canvas is also how it gets layered now you can always uh, move the layer forward or back so if you want the white to be in the back or the red in the front you can reposition it but it would be a lot more of a hassle at this point to actually do that you can just go ahead and um, reorganize how you're going to add the circles okay that would probably be the better way uh, the next thing that you want to do is now we're going to go ahead and add the middle circle so we're going to hit G oval again so this is good practice and I'll call it circle M and I add another G oval and this time um, instead of doing center minus the outer R now we're going to do the center minus the middle R okay so that's the only difference and then you're going to copy that over center y minus middle uh, r comma enter uh, we're not quite done there yet and then two times whatever the radius is which is uh, middle r okay comma two times middle r okay just like that and the one thing you want to remember is that you also need to go ahead and set your uh, conditions which is uh, filled and white now notice how it says circle here but the circle that we created is circle M so we've got to make that change and once we make that change, and what we're gonna do is add another M there and we're gonna add there and instead of red we want white okay and the last thing that we want to do is we want to add the last part which is the inner circle so we can do that by hitting G oval circle uh, inner right equals to new G oval and we want to do center X minus the inner R and then the center Y minus the inner R and we want to hit enter again and put in our diameter so inner R comma two times inner R and then just like that we went ahead and and created the inner circle now we need to also modify the conditions of the inner circle so we're going to put circle I and then we're going to set fill it again oh circle I set fill and that would be true again oops this is why I like copying and pasting and then we're going to hit circle I again and set the color so set circle I set fill color there we go so color and we want to put red as the inside make sure it's in caps though okay don't know if it makes a difference but it's usually in caps and then last but not least we're going to go ahead and add that circle i now the cool thing is is that um, now that we constructed the uh, the big red one the middle white one and the small red one we can actually add it multiple times to the canvas and we don't have to um, put them together like so where did that go by the way oh I must have deleted it but basically we can group these ads together so we can add one circle okay like that and then add the circle in the middle and the circle in the inner and that would give us our target so to make sure that we have did this right we're gonna go ahead and test the program and do, 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 do. 
We're going to go to target, set OK, and there you have it. Now you'll notice that um, it actually uh, has a different center depending on how the screen starts off, but if you try to resize it in the corner, it won't resize. And that's because we didn't um, put a method for that. So to resize it, we, would, we can put a resizable method that would resize with, with the box, but it's, it's centered as the application is being made. So that's the uh, solution to this program. Um, of course, if you want to see more, go ahead and hit like and subscribe, and I'll produce more. Thank you.